Hello, everybody. In this uh, video, we're going to talk about a limitation in Java. It has to do with um, accessing local variables from within a Lambda. And in order to do that, the local variables have to be either final or effectively final. And we'll talk in a previous video, we talked about final, the final keyword in Java. And today we're going to talk about effectively final. And so I want you to imagine that you know that this limitation about this limitation. And so you, um, where lambdas need the variables that they're going to access to be final. And so um, you're going to declare them final. So you're like, all right, I'm going to have two variables. One I'm going to call A, and it's going to be 231. And I'm going to have another uh, variable called uh, B, and it's going to be uh, 425. And we're just going to create this void fork. I'm not even going to bother trying to join it up. I'm just going to create a fork. Uh, and going to um, sit there and it's going to uh, just print them out, right? So let's, let's print out A and print out B. See, there's no compilation error. Everything is just fine and everything's all happy-go-lucky. If I try to um, change A to be equal to 131 or something like that, um, that won't work, right? Like it's final, right? It won't allow that to happen. Um, and what I'm going to show to you is that um, these are explicitly final, like we've declared them to be final. I can take that final variable name and it still doesn't have a problem. Like it's still compiling, everything is totally fine. Um, what's going on now is this has become effectively final. That means is that Java is like trying to make it so that you don't have to declare absolutely everything, right? As long as your variable B is never reassigned, so it could be made final, it'll fill that in for you, right? And there's lots of times in which uh, Java could be frustrating. A lot of times it's like sort of trying to make things less frustrating for you. It's trying to make it so you don't have to declare everything final. As long as you don't change it, it'll work. And so you can see it's still compiling. I have this, uh, there's no errors. It's got this B situation. It's still able to access it. Now, the moment I say like, well, B equals 10, now all of a sudden it's no longer effectively final, right? because I've changed the value, I've reassigned it. Like now it couldn't make it final. You couldn't make it a final explicitly. So the program, the, the Java compiler won't make it effectively final for you. And there's a very real reason for why uh, you're not allowed to do this. One, it would just be more complicated for the compiler to support it. Two, when you're doing things like lambdas, oftentimes you're saying that this code can happen later or in parallel. Right? You're sort of delaying evaluation of it. And people don't really want you mutating local variables or anything like that. There's a lot of reasons why you don't want to do that. That's why they sort of put this restriction on you anyways. We're not allowed to change it there. We're not allowed to change it in here. Um, B equals 11. We're not allowed to change it out here. You can never change it. right? And so um, this is just a limitation right? that it has to be either explicitly final or able to be final where you can't access it within a lambda. That's just a, a part of the language, okay? And so let's talk about like how this plays out in sort of a program, right? And so I want you to imagine um, what we kind of have here is like blackjack, right? I want you to imagine we have these two uh, very final values. Ace will always be worth, well, I guess in blackjack it could be one, 11, but let's just think of it this way where it's a blackjack program where these ace value and jack values, they're never gonna change for us. And our card A and card B are going to be ace and jack. And then our like, um, you know, like our card total, you know, let's say int total equals uh, A plus B, which we like. And then we're going to return the total just to be a little more explicit about this, right? So we're happy about this 21. We're going to make money one and a half times our initial bet. That's all good. But you imagine we're going to try to parallelize this. Imagine like computing the ace value was uh, slow or something like that, which it definitely isn't. Um, and so I'm going to want to join this before we leave. So I'm going to make this future void a uh, future. And I'm going to say void fork. Let's say I'm just going to, I want this thing where I'm going to say card A equals ace value. Okay. And then I'm going to come down here and join. After I've done card B in parallel with it, I'm going to join that future. And so this perfectly safe program, but now it's not letting me do this, right? I can't mutate this card A situation. Like that just 
won't work. It's because this thing is small. Now, very clearly, I can access ace value, right? I can read it all I want, right? I don't even explicitly make it final, but I can't mutate this guy. I can't reassign card A because um, it's not, I, I, well, well, it's not explicitly declared final, but it would no longer be able to be effectively final and accessed at all within here. And so like you can never reassign anything like this, right? And so um, this has no chance of working uh, because we can't go about that route. Um, and so let's talk about like building this uh, blackjack in such a way that it would work, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this idea of being able to assign two cards like that directly to, th to variables. Let's make an array of cards because we uh, sort of know that that's an object so we'll be able to change it. I'll make that a new int. And we could just make one, let's make two just to make it a little more clear. I'm gonna make a future now and it's going to be a void future because um, I'm going to do a void fork, right? Um, and that is going to be a void fork because I don't, I'm not going to return a value from this future. Now I'm going to say card sub zero equals ace value. Okay. Cute. Pull this down here, right? Card B, I'd, well, let's just say, let's change this because I'm going to make two slots in the cards just to make things, um, just let's just say this is the style that I want to go with. I'm going to just embrace this array where I'm going to store the values. Very critically, I'm giving them each their own slot so I don't have a data race, which we'll talk about soon enough. Um, and we're going to compute this car. Uh, now I have these two values, right? Now I can say int total equals cards sub zero plus cards sub two, sub one, right? That's the total and let's return it total. Right? And now if I come down to my little program, I can write main here and sys out blackjack. Run it real quick. Oh, I need to get uh, two exceptions that are run uh, by join here. Oh, and rather critically, this prints out only 10 because I neglected to join. So I need to join that future. We'll talk about data races in a little bit, right? Now I'm always getting this uh, 21 number. I should make it this out so it doesn't print out in red because like blackjack is definitely not an error unless you're um, unless the house gets it. So um, as you can see here, I've I've used the the ability that this guy like not only is it effectively final, I can state it as final. We never change cards. Like if I said uh, cards equals new int two here, now all of a sudden we're back in non-compiling land, right? But because I'm only changing the contents, right? I'm able to pull off um, this approach to using the fact that this cards array is effectively final. So is Ace and Jack, right? Um, everybody's effectively final. No one's re being reassigned, right? But I'm reassigning the contents of this object. Now, um, one last point I'd like to make is this is not something that's explicitly a problem with uh, parallel code. Like any Lambda has this restriction. So if I say int x equals 42 here, um, and then make some new runnable, which is a different uh, interface in Java, and that one takes no parameters, returns nothing. So a very simple uh, Lambda will uh, cover it. Um, in this case, if I am perfectly capable of accessing x from within this, right? Um, but if I ever try to change x equal to, uh, equal to 43, right? Now all of a sudden I get the same compilation problem. So this is a uh, just a limitation in Java. It's a rather reasonable, if not frustrating uh, at times, um, limitation in Java that you can't um, access uh, local variables that are not final or effectively final. And hopefully this gives you some approaches on how to uh, overcome this limitation in a not too uh, cumbersome way.